A group of courageous mountain climbers, Becky, Dan, and Hunter, climbs a long steep mountain. During the climb, Becky starts to struggle and her foot starts to slip. So Becky leaps to Dan's side and he catches her. Dan continues to climb and puts a harness on a hole, but a bat suddenly flies outside its cave, leaving him frightened and falling. As he hangs in the air, he tries to reach the rock, but it is too far away. Eventually, his harness comes loose, causing him to fall and die. After a year, Becky is in a bar, drinking alcohol and still grieving Dan's death. She calls his number and hears an automated voice message from Dan. As she leaves the bar, Becky sees her father James, who is concerned for her. Becky doesn't answer her phone when her father calls, since he wants her to move on, but she doesn't want to because she misses Dan. Then, Becky tries to go inside the car and leave. However, her father refuses to let her drive since she is drunk. So Becky curses him, making James angry at her since he did not raise her like that. He offers to give her a ride home, but she tells him she would rather walk. In response, James asks her if Dan would do the same for her if it were her who had died, making Becky angry and instructing James to leave her alone and heads home on foot. When she arrives home, she tries to call Dan's number, but an automated voice tells her the number has already been disconnected. Becky's sorrowful feeling becomes worse, to the point where she tries to take her life by overdosing herself. However, her best friend Hunter calls halting her plan. Then, Hunter arrives at her house and comforts her. Becky asks her why she returned to their place, and Hunter replies she has a plan with her to climb the B67 TV tower. Hunter admits that James called her to look after Becky since it has been a year already. Hunter proposes to climb the B67 TV tower together and throw Dan's ashes on top. However, Becky refuses since she hasn't climbed for a long time and apologizes to her. The next day, Becky makes coffee and realizes a quote that Dan always says while looking at their picture together. Then, she goes to Hunter and tells her the quote, If you're scared of dying, don't be afraid to live. So, Becky agrees to climb the tower, making Hunter extremely excited. Later, they begin to drive a six-hour trip near the tower. At night, they stop at a diner to eat, and Hunter shows the videos on her YouTube channel, which she is known as Danger G, while she is gone for a year. However, Becky tells her that if she wants to be a YouTuber, she should be herself, not Danger G. Then a waitress arrives, so Becky asks where she can charge her phone. But the waitress tells her the power is not free there. Meanwhile, Hunter asks her where the tower is located since it is not seen on the map. However, she tells Hunter they don't need a map and points at the blinking light, saying that's the tower. Suddenly, Becky spaces out while looking at the tower, so Hunter calls her and asks for her cell phone and charger to perform a life hack. She charges her cell phone by using a lamp as an outlet to plug in, leaving Becky amazed. Becky has a nightmare as she sleeps. Dan is next to her. She tells him she loves him, but he doesn't say it back. Instead, he says 143. Suddenly, there is blood on her blanket. Then she wakes up. She goes to Hunter and starts to drive to the tower. While driving, Hunter shoots a vlog for her YouTube channel, telling her followers they are climbing a 2,000-foot tower. Suddenly, a truck almost hits them, leaving them both frightened, but Hunter continues to vlog. As they arrive at the tower gate, the car cannot pass through it since it is locked, so they walk to the tower. While walking, they see vultures eating a deer alive. Therefore, they scare the predators away. Hunter takes a picture of the deer and posts it on Instagram, captioning it, feeling peckish, which makes Becky uncomfortable. They continue to walk to the tower while Hunter is vlogging. Hunter is excited to climb the tower as soon as they get there, but Becky changes her mind and backs out. However, Hunter persuades her by stating that Dan helped her overcome all of her fears and that Becky should do the same. Eventually, Becky is convinced, so they start to climb the tower. As they climb the tower's ladder, Hunter goes first, and Becky follows. During the climb, Becky grabs one of the rungs, but suddenly it breaks, frightening her. However, Hunter still convinces her to continue and that she is doing great. Then, Hunter mentions that they had reached the Eiffel Tower's height as they stopped for a water break after climbing for 1,000 feet. While climbing, the tower begins to shake. Then Becky and Hunter reach the end of the internal ladder, which is 1,800 feet, and the remaining 200 feet is the external ladder of the tower. Becky wants to stop moving forward and just go down, but Hunter advises her to keep looking up and sing to distract her fear. Then, Hunter plays around, causing some bolts to loosen and fall off. Eventually, they reach the top of the tower. Hunter brings a drone and decides to hang over the edge to take some epic pictures. After taking the pictures, she tells Becky that it's her turn to hang, but she is hesitant to do it. However, Hunter convinces her by telling her that the old Becky would have done it. Unwillingly, Becky hangs over the edge while holding Hunter's hand and immediately takes pictures of her. Meanwhile, Hunter tells Becky she is proud of her and should throw Dan's ashes. As she grabs the ashes, she gives her last words to Dan and eventually throws the ashes, making Hunter and Becky emotional. After relishing the view, Becky decides to begin climbing down since she needs to urinate. 
Suddenly, the bolts begin to fall, causing the ladder to break. Becky almost falls and drops their bag, but Hunter grabs onto the pole while Becky is hanging in the air. Hunter manages to pull her up using their harness and realizes the ladder is destroyed, leaving them stuck on top. They start to panic since there's no signal, but they see an emergency box with binoculars and a flare. Surprisingly, Hunter sees a wound on Becky's leg, so she uses her shirt to cover the wound and put pressure on it. Meanwhile, they both start to vlog on top, telling the viewers they are stuck on top of a 2,000 feet tower. Becky then says that Hunter is just vlogging for the money, but Hunter tells her it's not like that. So Becky asks her why she vlogs, and Hunter reveals it's because of Dan. After Dan's death, she realizes that life is fleeting and wants to spread the message that life is too short, so you must use every moment of your life. Becky is touched by Hunter's message, and both decide to stop the YouTube channel Danger G. Later, Hunter and Becky assume that the sound of the ladder crashing could attract attention. However, five hours had already passed with no help arriving. They can see a trailer parked close to the gate up ahead with the binoculars, but it looks like it is already abandoned. Meanwhile, Hunter plans to drop her cell phone using the 50 feet rope to get service and asks for help. Therefore, Hunter goes down as possible but still doesn't get the service. Then, Becky plans to drop the phone by placing it in Hunter's shoe, cushioning it with Becky's sock and Hunter's sports bra to ensure it doesn't shatter when it hits the ground. However, the cell phone still breaks when it reaches the ground. While Hunter is looking around through the binoculars, she sees a man, so they both shout for help. However, the man seems to not hear them, so they throw some things to catch his attention, but their efforts are fruitless. Later, they decide to wait until dark to draw their attention to the flare, after noticing that the man is joining his friend to grill food. When the man is about to leave, Becky and Hunter attempt to draw attention to them by firing the flare and turning on Becky's flashlight on her cell phone. The two men see the girls, but they also notice Hunter's truck, so they move the trailer to steal it. Later that night, the two girls are exhausted and fall asleep. Then, Becky notices the tattoo, 143, on Hunter's feet which is what Dan always says. Due to that, she realizes her best friend is cheating on her husband. Hunter apologizes to her for falling in love with the same guy and admits they had an affair that lasted four months. On the following day, Becky asks her who made the first move, so Hunter tells her Dan did it when they were drunk, which was a huge mistake. However, she stopped it because even though she loved Dan, she loved Becky more. Meanwhile, Becky's alarm sounds and she points out that it has been 24 hours since they dropped Hunter's phone, thinking either the phone is broken or Hunter's followers don't care. Hunter then claims she can go to the satellite and get the bag. She lowers herself with the harness and slowly goes down to the satellite. As she reaches the end of the rope, she still can't get the bag, so she removes the harness and jumps onto the satellite. Then, Hunter uses her selfie stick to attach the bag to the harness and then uses it to aid herself in climbing back up after drinking some water. She tells Becky to help her climb by pulling the rope, so Becky prepares herself to pull. Hunter's foot suddenly slips, bringing her down just as she is about to reach the top and reach for the ladder. Though it appears she landed on the bag, Becky must pull her up since Hunter's hand was burned from the rope. Hunter finally reaches the top after Becky uses all her might to pull her up. Then, Becky immediately drinks water and writes a note asking for help to put it on the drone. She flies the drone to where the motel is, but the drone starts to fall since it has a low battery. Hence, they fly it back and grab it. Later that night, Becky fell asleep. As she wakes up, she notices Hunter is nowhere to be seen and vultures start to attack her. Suddenly, she sees Hunter lying and being eaten by vultures. Then, she wakes up again in reality, sees Hunter, and she tells her she had a bad dream. Meanwhile, Becky remembers Hunter's life hack in the diner and realizes they can charge their drone with the blinking light on top of the tower. So they waited until morning to climb the 30-feet pole. The next morning, Becky drinks their last water supply and prepares to climb the pole. As she starts to, Becky reaches halfway to the top but starts to struggle. So Hunter helps her by singing their song to avoid the fear. When she arrives at the top, she removes the bulb, but the charger doesn't fit. So she uses her ring to carry the current and charges the drone. Becky clings on for hours until the drone is fully charged. Suddenly, a vulture attacks her wounded leg, causing the bag to fall. Eventually, the drone reaches full battery, so she immediately goes down and asks Hunter why she didn't catch the bag. Then, Becky starts to vomit because of exhaustion and tells her to fly the drone. However, Hunter tells her to wait until 10 a.m., since that is the checkout time of the motel. While waiting until 10 a.m., Becky realizes that James was only helping her and that she wanted to apologize to him. Then, Becky starts to zone out because of exhaustion, so Hunter talks to her and asks stories about James to keep her distracted. As the clock strikes 10, Becky immediately flies the drone to the motel, but a truck hits and destroys the drone just before it reaches the motel. Later, they notice a storm approaching them, and Becky says she can't survive another night anymore. Hunter then points out that the vultures are waiting for her to give up, so she says Becky needs energy. Meanwhile, 
Becky tells her they'll send another message, but this time to pat it better. So she asks for Hunter's shoe again, but Hunter responds she can't. Shockingly, the Hunter she has been speaking with for the past few hours turns out to be a hallucination. When Hunter was climbing up the rope, she didn't land on the bag but on the satellite, causing her to die. Becky then looks at the satellite, seeing Hunter's corpse being eaten by vultures. She only pulled the bag up and thought Hunter was in it because she was afraid she was all alone. Later that night, the tower begins to shake because of the storm. She then films herself, telling her father she can't make it and apologizes for all she has done. The next day, a vulture approaches her and sees her sleeping, so it starts to eat her wound. However, Becky suddenly grabs the vulture's head and kills it. Then, she eats the vulture and remembers all the survival advice Hunter gave her. Suddenly, Becky goes down to the satellite to send a message to her dad. She puts her cell phone on Hunter's shoe and puts the shoes on her body. Then, Becky apologizes to Hunter and pushes her body to the ground so that her message will be sent. Then, James rushes to the tower and sees rescuers. He discovers them taking Hunter's body, which he misidentifies as Becky until he discovers that Becky has already been rescued and safely taken down. Becky then immediately immediately goes to James and apologizes to him. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.